Assalamualaikum. Uh, today we continue with this title electrochemical polarization. So for uh, corrosion rate or the rate of electrochemical reaction is limited by various physical and chemical factors. Hence, an electrochemical reaction is said to be either polarized or retarded by these environmental factors. So polarized means that the process of corrosion will move forward. So the uh, potential at equilibrium, at equilibrium uh, potential, so the rate of oxidation is equal to the rate of reduction. So when it is polarized, so either one, if, if the oxidation process, so the oxidation process will move forward. So more than the reduction process. All right. So this is called polarized. But if uh, the term for retarded, it means that it will stop polarized due to the environmental factors. For, me, for example, the formation of passive layer on the surface. So it will become passive. So there is no more active uh, process occur on the surface. So it is retarded. So now we look at the polarization or also known as over potential. So this is the symbol for over potential of polarization. So is the potential change from the equilibrium half set potential uh, caused by a net surface reaction. So this is the formula. So how to calculate this over potential is the new E, the new potential you know, with this equilibrium potential. So the potential, for example, here, this is the plot of E versus I current density. So so this is E equilibrium. So if the oxidation process occur, is move upward, so it goes to new E. So this the, the different here we call it new or over potential. If the process is reduction, it's move downward. So where does it stop? This is the new E for reduction. So this is N or over potential for cathodic reaction. This is anodic reaction. Okay, here is the equilibrium potential. So at equilibrium potential, at, on the x-axis, this is the exchange current density for the that process. So where does it stop? If this is the uh, car, uh, the reduction process, this is IC. So if this is the anodic, so this is IA, current for anodic process. So this is current for cathodic process. All right. So the polarization is said to be either anodic, move upward, when the energy process of the uh, electrode are isolated by changing the specimen potential in the positive direction or cathodic process when the cathodic process are isolated by moving the position in the negative direction so if you the process is going downward it is negative direction so this is called cathodic process so if the negative reduction you also can plot the opposite uh, ways where this is current this is E so again you will get uh, this shape All right so this is the uh, cathodic so this is the direction for cathodic because it's more negative potential more negative this is potential more positive so the positive direction is oxidation, right? So this is current. So this is the uh, reduction. It's similar, only the axis is uh, opposite. All right. So you we just focus at this uh, plot. All right. So next, the concept of polarization is important in understanding the corrosion behavior and corrosion reaction. So there are two types of polarization. Correction that means that it move uh, from the equilibrium potential. So there are two types. One is activation. So this is the symbol. 
and also concentration due to concentration so what is activation polarization so activation polarization is usually the controlling factor during corrosion in strong acid okay so in strong acid very strong acid the amount of active species close to the uh, for example strong acid there are a lot of hydrogen plus near to the surface this is metal metal and immerse in the solution in strong acid so the slowest step as you can see uh, before okay it involves electron transfer as well as mass transport okay these two mechanism involved for that electrochemical reaction so if in strong acid the lot of h plus uh, on the surface so the slower step is how the electron will move will jump or transfer will be transferred to the hydrogen plus so if this is the controlling factor so this is called activation polarization so what makes the potential at equilibrium move for example move upward or downward okay so if this is the case this is the case so this is called activation activation polarization due to electron transfer activation is controlled by electron transfer or kinetically controlled all right so but for concentration polarization another type of polarization is due to the concentration of the activities which is low uh, in the solution for example in dilute acid or in aerated waters the active component such as diesel oxygen is low uh, at the in the solution so if this is the case so this is the metal for example so there is a concentration gradient so this is uh, concentration gradient this is c bar for example o2 oh plus so this is metal metal surface all right so it's very dilute so this slowest in this process how this metal can dissolve or corrode due to this, due to this uh, is controlled by concentration factor mass transport this is the slowest step in this in the process so how this either diesel oxygen or h plus hydrogen ion can move due to concentration gradient to the surface to attack the surface so this is the slowest electron transfer is faster than mass transport so this is slower this is faster so it means that this will control the electrochemical reaction All right so now look at this uh, diagram this is a graphical representation of process occurring at electrochemical interface this is the electrode electrode so this is electrolyte so this all electrolyte so you imagine electrode is the metal okay for example ferrum in this case ferrum iron okay immerse is immerse in acid solution so acid it means that the presence of a lot of hydrogen plus okay so if uh, here at the interface between the metal and the solution or electrolyte so this is the mechanism involved the electron transfer okay to hydrogen ion will uh, take these two electrons from the metals so metal with dissolve here this is anode this is anode here this side is cathode okay so in this case ferrum will oxidize to ferrum 2 plus and two hydrogen in the solution will accept two electron and will reduce to hydrogen gas okay so if this is very dilute so the controlling factor is the due to concentration the concentration polarization okay so from bulk it will transport to the surface either by diffusion mode migration mode or convection mode this is mass transport but if this is the controlling factor at low power potential the charge transfer or electron transfer is the controlling factor so this all the parameters for electron transfer so look at the first 
type of polarization, which is activation. So it refers to an electrochemical process that is controlled by the reaction sequence at the metal and electric uh, uh, interface. For example, evolution of hydrogen gas on zinc during corrosion in acid solution. So you have seen this before. I've explained this about the formation of hydrogen 2 plus. So this is the hydrogen evolution reaction on zinc. In this case, it's zinc. So this species H plus must be adsorbed and attached to the metal surface before the reaction can proceed. This is step one through mass transport. This is mass transport. It will move due to concentration gradient for diffusion. Next step two, following the adsorption, once it is adsorbed on the surface, so electron transfer will occur, resulting in the reduction of the species. So it needs two to form hydrogen. Two hydrogen ion must be reduced. So two hydrogen atom, which is non one is not stable, so it need one more to form hydrogen gas. Alright, this is radical, so we will form bonding, so we will form hydrogen too. So this is hydrogen gas, so in the form of hydrogen molecule, it's a bubble. So next step four, the hydrogen molecule will diffuse away. So there are four possible steps to be considered in the formation of hydrogen evolution on zinc. Alright, so this is zinc immersed in acidic solution. So this is H plus H plus will move to the surface of zinc. This is zinc. Alright, so this zinc will dissolve. This is anode. This side is anode and dissolve into the solution and release two electron. Two electron at the cathodic surface. This is cathode surface. Cathode. So when they adsorb on the surface, it need one electron, except one electron, then it will form hydrogen radical, hydrogen atom. Another hydrogen plus will accept one electron, will form another one electron, uh, atom and form bonding. So it will form hydrogen bubble here. Next is the mass transport of hydrogen gas. It's not solid, it not, will, will not form deposit here or coating. So it's a gas, so it will move away, diffuse away in the bulk or in the atmosphere. So this is mass transport, mass transport and mass transport. So this is electron transport here at the interface. Okay, so the slowest, okay, the slowest among this step, there are four possible steps, so will be the rate determining step. Next, uh, activation polarization, this is the symbol, right? So the relationship between rate of corrosion uh, here is r r is proportional to i so this is i uh, current density and over potential new this is new the relationship between over potential and rate of relation so there is one equation we call it tefl equation right so this is tefl equation so there are two sides for tefl equation one is anodic another one is cathodic this is i Right, so this is E, E versus I. So, uh, this is beta. Uh, this is new. This the formula is N activation. So here is N activation. This one is for anodic. This one is for cathodic. So beta is the Tefl constant or Tefl slope. Beta A. This is beta A because this is anodic process uh, times log I. Lo I is where is the point at that time here. Yeah. So if you stop here, so this is I, I A, I A, anodic current. So this is I not. I not is the starting. I not uh, for the anodic for the anodic process. Uh, for the bottom slope, which is activation for cathodic, this is beta C. This is negative direction. Log I C. This is wherever it stop here. This is called cathodic current. Uh, cathodic current density. Then I not for C. So this is in negative value. Beta C. Right. So this is called 
activation polarization polarization either this is the equilibrium potential equilibrium potential so it move if it move upward so to this point so this is an activation for anode if it move downward so this is an activation for cathode either direction okay so this is beta the slope this is the formula 2.3 times r the gas ideal constant time t temperature in kelvin this is alpha alpha is the symmetric coefficient normally 0.5 and number of electron f the faraday constants right so normally beta the tapered slope is in between 0.05 to 0.15 volt per decade okay this is a uh, example uh, look at this when you immerse you put zinc in acid solution okay you will uh, theoretically theoretically uh, will form uh, this diagram so this diagram we call it even diagram or mixed potential diagram okay look at this process this is the anodic zinc this is the environment cathodic so zinc is immersed in acidic so what will form at this uh, cathodic reaction is the hydrogen evolution and anodic reaction is zinc dissolve to zinc 2 plus okay so it will uh, you can plot even diagram theoretical you can plot this even diagram we call this also mixed potential diagram okay so look at this diagram so you can find uh, e equilibrium here for metals zinc and also e equilibrium for the cathodic reaction hydrogen evolution Okay, on the plot also, on the diagram also, you can find the I0, the SN current density for metals. Yeah, I0 for metals. This is I0 for cathodic reaction, hydrogen evolution. Then, in this process, alright, so hydrogen ion must reduce. Reduce, it means that it moves downward, not upward okay so this hydrogen gas will oxidize to form hydrogen plus ion and release to electron this is not the case because in corrosion of zinc here hydrogen plus must accept two electrons to form hydrogen gas the reduction process will occur so this is the polarization of uh, cathodic polarization so this is beta c so next for the anodic process zinc is going to oxidize to zinc 2 plus and release two electron and also zinc can also reduce but this is not the case because in the corrosion of zinc zinc must oxidize to zinc 2 plus not the opposite direction not the reduction reduction is downward this is not the case so zinc must going upward because this is the oxidation process so this is beta a all right so then when it complete to each other they complete they are com uh, they complement to each other it means that this is anodic and this is cathodic reaction because why they move downward and this move upward because they are interact both uh, reduction and oxidation occurs so this is the driving force to make hydrogen move or polar polarize downward and this hydrogen will uh, make zinc polarize upward so it will mean at one point so this point i here we call it corrosion current density and on the y-axis this is we call it e core or corrosion current density this is e core and this is I4. This is very important uh, parameter to be uh, used to calculate R. This is uh, in a millimeter per year. So this is the value should be should be add in the equation in the formula in order to know the corrosion rate for that particular metals. So the unit is in 
micro ampere per cm square if you use this formula okay that's why you must plot this uh, uh, diagram so this is theory theoretical diagram so we later we look at the experimental diagram we call it polarization table polarization curve so, okay theoretically you uh, should get this okay this is called even diagram or mixed potential diagram so mixed potential here where the anodic and cathodic mean at one point so this is i core and this is e core all right so next the second type of polarization why uh, the potential move from the equilibrium due to concentration okay so it refers to electrochemical reaction that are controlled by diffusion in the electrolyte for example hydrogen evolution in very dilute acid okay so it just involve a uh, cathodic uh, reaction there is no uh, concentration polarization for anodic only the cathodic reaction so for example hydrogen evolution in very dilute acid solution the number of hydrogen ion in solution is very small and the reduction rate is controlled by the diffusion of hydrogen ion to the metal surface when a chemical species participating in a corrosion process is in short supply the mass transport of species to the corroding surface can become rate controlling okay so this concentration concentration polarization is uh, due to the lack of ion species ion uh, close to the metal surface this is metal so there is a gap there is concentration gap uh, this is bulk solution this is uh, at the surface surface of metal so there is concentration gradient so this is c bulk concentration which is uniform okay this is quite uh, uh, low and at the surface c is concentration is approaching zero uh, of this st species okay so this will be mass transport okay hydrogen ion will move towards the surface the corroding surface okay to attack this surface to make it a uh, corrosion uh, uh, process occur so uh, the reduction rate of hydrogen is controlled by process occurring in the bulk solution rather than metal surface so what control the corrosion process the slower step is the mass transport not the electron transfer not here here is activation okay if activation control the process due to electron transfer is activation polarization but if this is the concentration is uh, uh, low concentration of hydrogen ion control the process corrosion process this is we call it concentration polarization I hope you can understand, uh, can differentiate between concentration and activation polarization. So, if concentration it occurs at high over potential and controlled by mass transport, but for activation, uh, the, the 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 process is controlled by electron transfer. It occurs at low over potential. Okay, so look at this. For example, zinc. This is zinc metal immersed in this solution, acidic, and contain dissolved oxygen so since there is low H plus and low dissolved oxygen so this will be the controlling factor the the movement of O2 as well as H plus to the surface so electron transfer is fast fast so that is not the controlling factor the controlling factor is how this uh, substance H plus and O2 move move to the surface this is mass transport so in this case uh, zinc need to supply two a uh, four four electron to form this uh, two water because oxygen and h plus need four electron to reduce to form two molecule of water here yeah. so it's more uh, uh, faster than in strong acid solution uh, reaction okay so there is one parameter in concentration so we call it limiting diffusion current density, and the symbol is il so for concentration polarization the diffusion rate of hydrogen ion to the electrode surface is limited by the limiting 
diffusion current state. This is the limitation. This is the maximum reduction process can occur in the system. Okay, so this is the formula. Okay, involving IL, limiting current density. So this is the NERS diffusion layer, the thickness of the diffusion layer, delta. Alright, so this is diffusion coefficient, this number of electron, uh, F is the Faraday constant, this is the concentration in bulk solution. Okay, so the concentration of active species in bulk solution. So this is the formula of over potential due to concentration. So this is the IC, where is the point, it stop, and this is the maximum, IL. Okay, so... It's only involved the cathodic reaction. Anodic just straightforward. Okay, going upward. But for cathodic reaction, which is the hydrogen evolution, for example, it uh, at high uh, potential, it have the activation, and slowly it will go flat here. Okay, so this is IL. This is the maximum it can reduce. This is called limiting current density so this area is the cathodic where the concentration control concentration uh, polarization control all right so this is uh, if there is a slope slope yeah so this is activation activation polarization but when it start to bend or uh, here yeah, this area so this is concentration control so this is the limit for the concentration for the reduction process so at this point is concentration so this is if it falls at this point so this ic okay so ic cathodic current density okay look at this this is uh an even diagram involving concentration polarization at various velocities let's say uh, it also involves a uh, stirring or force convection Okay, so this is uh, the fastest, this is the slowest uh, stirring process, so this is slowest, this is fastest. Okay, so this is metal, for example, ferrum, will oxidize to ferrum 2 plus and release 2 electron. So this is, for example, hydrogen evolution reaction. Alright, so this is plus 2 plus. So, if there is no stirring, for example, at the slowest here, there's no, uh, you assume there is no stirring process, okay, so it will meet, this is the I core, I core, okay, it will meet here, the mixed potential diagram. So, this is E core, E core, this is I core, okay, then uh, the velocity is increased to B, again, it become higher, okay. Okay, the more uh, on the positive car current density, it means that R is higher or faster. Caution rate is faster. Okay, so this is where C, the velocity is uh, faster than B and A. So, I call also will increase with C. Okay, this all uh, meet at concentration is all due to concentration polarization because it occurs at the IL this I core equals to IL all made at IL limiting become limiting here okay but if too fast like V4 okay and V5 okay you can see here okay the this anodic process this is anodic and this is cathodic here meet at the slope this is slope, not at the uh, this curve, okay, or this band here, not here, not like A, B, and C. A, B, and C all occur at I, L, I, L, and here at the curve, C. So, if it meet here, this is A, B, and C is controlled by concentration polarization. But, for case of V4 and V5, Okay, so I core meet at the uh, here. This is I core, and it cross at the slope. At the slope, it means that it is controlled by activation. When there is a slope, it's called or controlled by electron transfer. If it meet at the limiting current density or at the curve, it is controlled by 
concentration. So this ABC is controlled by concentration. I hope you understand the concentration and activation. But for anodic process, there is no limit because it will keep on uh, dissolve. Okay, keep on dissolving or corroding. To for example, ferrum will keep on dissolve. Okay, there is no limit. But for hydrogen evolution, for example, so it it has limit. We call it limiting carbonation to form hydrogen. The maximum IL is the limit, which is maximum reduction uh, process reaction occur. Okay, so for example, two hydrogen plus two E, it has a limit, and the limit for for that case will produce this IL limiting current density. But for anodic, there is no limit. There is no limit. Will go upward. We keep on dissolving as long as this active species attack the metal surface. Alright, so this is the diffusion, uh, next diffusion layer thickness. So if you put force convection or stirring, so it become closer. Delta become smaller. The next version become smaller. Okay, this C bar go very close. C come to the surface okay the gap become smaller so these are the diffusion coefficient of selected ion and molecule for example dissolved oxygen hydrogen plus have their own uh, values okay so it will be put in the equation okay so this is the example okay this is the uh, taper plot of polarization curve this is for experimental so experimental experimental you will found you will find this you will get this this shape theoretical here yeah. but if you do experiment you will you won't get this but you will get this shape v shape okay so look at this so this is e versus i so theoretical this is cathodic this is anodic so this is i core this is e core so this is E equilibrium. This is E equilibrium for cathodic. So this anodic. So this is I exchange current for anodic. So let's say here. So this is I exchange current for cathodic process. So it means at one point this is I call this very important value. Okay. So this is theoretical, even diagram or mixed potential diagram, but but uh, in the uh, when you do experiment you will, will not will not get this this shape but you will get v shape okay so you just extrapolate this this is uh, beta c this is beta a similar to this this is beta a so this is the first slope cathodic so you will get this shape v shape okay so you cannot see the red slope but you will see the blue uh, shape is a v shape okay so actually you will get this e in volt versus i probably in ampere cm square so you will get this shape experimentally so this is the here is the e core. Then you take this two point, the linear here. This is linear. It's also two point here. So you just take the ruler, ruler here and here. So this cross is i core. Okay. So either you get uh, this. That shape, or also you can uh, reverse I versus E, you will get this. Okay, so this is beta, this is positive direction, this is negative direction, so this is beta A. Okay, so this is beta C. Okay, you can cross here, 
so this is the value for i cop so this is e cop e cop corrosion current density and corrosion potential is corrosion potential this is corrosion current density yeah so this value is very important to know corrosion rate r is corrosion rate you can put in this equation i co okay okay i co uh, a and d so put in this the way okay so this is an example table plot okay you will get this shape the v shape if you do this analysis still the corrosion of steel in nitric acid okay you just scan the potential from uh, plus minus 100 millivolt this is uh, negative 0 100 millivolt and this is positive 100 millivolt from here this is eco or also known as ocp open circuit potential ocp or also known as eco corrosion current uh, potential okay so once you get this v shape okay so you will take this two point here both side so you just got a line here the cross here this value is i i core so this i core will go into this equation all right so but the value is a uh, micro m micro m uh, cm square so then you will calculate the corrosion rate is 1515.4 millimeter per year will corrode okay when exposed when steel is exposed or immersed in this acid solution okay that's all for today thank you